Blackout 650 Gaming here, and welcome to Earth. Um, yeah, welcome to Universe something 2. I can never remember if it's Universe Sandbox or Universe Simulator. I'm pretty sure it's Universe Sandbox. Let me see. Yeah, it's Universe Sandbox 2. Um, so I got my hands here. I assume you can see... Yeah, okay. You can see that they're the, uh, the Half-Life controllers. Isn't that neat? Anyway, so we're here. It's your boy. Earth. The surface temperature of 13.5 degrees Celsius, which is probably dropping because there is no sun. Anywhere. At all. There's a moon, though. So let's... Uh, let's teleport to the moon. Here's moon. Let's just bring that in a little bit. All right. Oh, too far. Okay. It's a little, a little bit janky, and I can't see anything anymore. Hold on. Let me grab something. I might be going through the moon at the moment. Don't worry about it. I was warm, and now the lenses are fogging up on the ocular. Oh, yes. All right. Uh, on the, uh, Vive. Alright, see how long that lasts. So here's the moon. Here is moon. Where did Earth go? Oh, there it is. It's just dark. Because apparently the sun is over there, even though it doesn't exist. How's this guy doing? Wow. So that's got a surface temperature of negative 270 degrees Celsius. Which I don't think is much different than Kelvin. But it doesn't come in Fahrenheit, so we'll never know with that one. All right, let's see here. What do you want to do? Let's, uh... Um... Yeah. All right, here, let's go with this. So you're probably seeing a little bit different stuff. Uh, I believe there's something on the bottom of the screen. But I am in the world of... Well, I'm, I'm just floating out in space, really. I'm not in the world of anything, but... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh oh. I just I just moved the moon. Well, let's just Oh, that's what that does. Well it appears as though the Earth is getting closer. I'm I'm gonna move that over there. Um So what this game is, is it is Bye. This game is a simulation of well, the universe. And I'm starting to not be able to see again. Oh, and there goes the, the Earth. Well, actually, I think the moon is what's moving in this case. Well, they're both moving. But anyway, I'm just going to keep this cloth with me for now. Uh, where's uh, is the Earth coming back? Maybe I actually did throw the moon, I'm not sure. Oh, it's not coming back, so let's just... Yep, and then we'll go ahead and... Uh... No, come back. Uh, oh, here we go. This should bring it closer. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Whoops. Um, well, A, this isn't spinning the correct direction anymore. Hi, Australia, I think. That's not Australia. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not going to buff out. Well, the surface temperature is now 25.3 degrees Celsius, so hey, it's warmer. I believe it's usually about 15 degrees Celsius in here. I guess we came from over there. Anyway, so this isn't, you know, super entertaining so far. So, uh, let's see here. Here's a moon. That was blinding. Now there's fragments of moon. Um, so yeah. In this simulation of the entire universe, you can do all sorts of fun stuff, and there's a way of adjusting 
what this is made up of. But I don't remember how to do it at the moment. Um, there's a hair on my nose. It's not at a time. Um, maybe there isn't a way to do it on here. I don't think there is, but I can dispense. Let's go ahead and just shove a bunch of, yeah, hydrogen into it at a higher velocity, because that'll make a big difference after. Yeah, sure. Wow, that's really bright. Well, let's make it brighter by making it into a sun. So how's everybody doing today? Just gonna, you know, just, I'm just, you know, adding hydrogen to Earth, no big deal. <clears throat> ah, yes, we can see here that, uh, well, you might be able to see, I can barely see anything. Uh, all of the water from Earth has evaporated. And, uh, yeah, so hydrogen is apparently doing nothing. I said that very strangely. That's just, oops. Well, there's now hydrogen in space. I'd imagine there may have already been hydrogen in space. I don't know. I'm. The hell are you? Anyway, I'm not an astronomer. Oh, those are probably fragments. Yeah, that's fragment. That was probably fragment. There's a fragment over there, fragment there. All right, this isn't working and I can't see anything again. One second. Oh, that's where I'm standing. Huh. That's a little better. The edges are a little wonky still, but it's whatever. I really need to put some ventilation in the, uh, the Vive. All right, what else can we do? Um, uh, nope, come back. Let's fill it with iron. More iron. It already has iron in it, but you know. What's the temperature? 209 degrees Celsius. And dropping. Should also be getting a larger mass. But I'm not shoving enough in, so... There we go. So every particle is equivalent to 78 point... Whoop. 78.4 Jupiters. Oh. Well, it's a lot bigger now. Let me just move this over here. Yeah, that's a sun. Kind of a little, a little more. Wait for it. It's uh, not uh, especially close. All right. So, now that I have created a flaming ball of... I'm not sure. Actually, I think that might be the... Any water that's left is burning off of it now. Or it might be the hydrogen. I'm... Yeah. Earth Nova Remnant. So, the Earth just went Nova. Uh, it just turned into a Chevy Nova. I'm smashing controllers. All right, well, let's load something different then. Let's let's go ahead and we'll load the entire solar system. That is through this button. Nope. Don't save it. The other one. Open. Uh, well, we could do Jupiter and Neptune grazing, but uh, let's go ahead and solar system. So it is a little, not disorienting, but it's kind of weird because I'm just sort of floating in space and cleaning off lenses. Huh. I can see the vast emptiness and the many lines. Wow. And the edges of my world, which you probably can't see. Uh, okay, well, do we want to go visit Uranus? I had to say it at some point. Or Neptune. Or the Sun. Or Mercury. Let's go visit Mercury. Mercury is moving really quickly because it's really close to the sun. I know some stuff about space, not a ton though. Um, so now if we go ahead and we look for Earth. Sit down, Earth. It's behind me, right? Isn't that cool? Son of a bitch. <clears throat> Hi, Earth, how are you today? All right, nope, come back. Come back, duh, ooh, hee, hoo. Chill, that, that's a little disorienting. Having Earth just you know, flying towards you very quickly. All right, eventually you'll, eventually you'll get right over here. 
it might actually not. There it goes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and adjust the time. Still adjusting time, didn't wanna stop there. So now every second that goes by is equivalent to 1.01 1 .01 hour, apparently. So every second is equivalent to an hour, give or take. Um, it's got the mass of one Earth. Appreciate it, that's real helpful. Smart ass. Um, yeah, there's not really much else I can do. The non-VR version of this game, they come in the same thing if you're interested, um, does give you more options, but you can't, you know, stick your head in Earth. Wow. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and find me. Where am I? Was that it? No, I don't think that was it. It may have been it. Oh, there's Italy. Okay, so it's gonna be over here. There I am. I should slow down time some more. So every second is... And nope, ten, oh, 11 minutes apparently. Again. All right, so I'm running out of daylight here. I'm somewhere over here, I can't really tell. I'm guessing about there. So, yeah. So now that I've found where I am, and I've found Earth, because that was real difficult, we go to Saturn or Jupiter or. Neptune again, Iris, your anus, Venus, Mars. Do we want to visit Mars? Let's go, Kulp. Let's just go to head. Mars, hello, Mars. How are you? You're looking reddish, orangish today. So, uh, yeah, there's there's Mars. So, what happens if Mars all of a sudden was full of water? Well, I'm, we think there's already water on Mars, but more water. Now it's a moon. I'm assuming it's really cold. Yes, negative 64.3 degrees Celsius. Is it warming up or getting colder? Or, or remaining constant? Okay, good to know. So it's got a shiznit ton of water in it now. Um, can I not hit that button? Ooh, okay. Let's see. Let's add some hydrogen. It's like spray painting. Oh, well, we got rid of the atmosphere around it, apparently. That seems bad. The temperature is dropping. Yep, got rid of the atmosphere. Sorry. Have some silicate. This will also change its orbit because of the mass of it. The mass and density will just how close and how far it is to the sun. I don't know in which direction it needs to go to be closer and whatnot, but we'll just we'll just fill that back up with some iron. It's the mass of 8.74 moons. Cool. Well, there's your ruined Mars. Let's go somewhere else that I didn't already ruin. Um, are there no moons around Mars? Guess not. Let's visit Pluto. I got it, we are Pluto. How can you tell? Because of the bark, you dummies. Had to be said at some point. Don't worry, Pluto. I still think you're a planet. I was just petting Pluto. Nothing about that sounds normal. Eris, Neptune, 1995 SN55. Oh, that's my favorite. There's... I Mercury, apparently. Where, in relation to literally everything else, am I? Wasn't Pluto the one that was farthest out? Furthest, farthest? Is that a planet? Why is that there? Let's go with it's really far. Oh, and now it's not much closer. Come here. Come here. No. Uh oh. 
let's just teleport to it. There we go. What's that? Maki Maki, I assume. I'm guessing that was probably discovered on Hawaii with one of their telescopes. They've got a few of those. All right, hello, Pluto. You have like no rotation at all. Granted, it's only going at what? What was it? 11 minutes per second, but I mean, one day per second. If I were willing to count how many seconds I was, I could actually tell you how many days it's been. So, one Earth day is faster than one Pluto day. That's interesting. This music is really peaceful and I have a bad feeling I'm gonna get a copyright thing for it. It doesn't sound familiar, but I don't know all that much about uh, classical. Other than I do enjoy it. I'm one of those weird people. I could literally go from listening and actually playing death metal to listening to some classical. Or electronic, I don't really care. I'll listen to music. As long as it's not rap. Um, what do you want to do with Pluto? That sounds weird. Let's just shove it full of material. Isn't that such a better way of saying things? Uh, dispense. Actually, you know what? Let's not. We're gonna throw... Um, so on here I can't actually get to any asteroids as far as I know, unfortunately. Because that would be helpful right about now. Um, star moon. This might actually have random asteroid in it. Nope. Okay, cool. SSO. Um, oh, I don't, I don't know what that stands for. Slightly smaller object. Let's go with that. Hugely silly object. I have no idea. Let's play space pool. Um, let's let's take a Tesla Roadster. And to, am I that Tesla Roadster? Okay. Well, I just launched Tesla Roadster off of Pluto, essentially. Not quite what I wanted to do. Hold on. Let's switch that to something better. Let's just take... You know what, why don't we take another Pluto? Let's hit Pluto with Pluto. We yeah, on Pluto. Everything go away. Actually, wait, I need this back. Um, manual, okay. Really high velocity, okay. Hi Pluto, how are you? It was nice knowing you. Let's make you a moon. I don't think I made it a moon. I think I just disintegrated the entire thing. What, uh, what am I holding? This is not Pluto. What is that? That's Pluto. Hold on. Hi Pluto, how well you're on fire. Still negative 229 degrees Celsius, which is why it has since already stopped being on fire. Um, it is no longer, most likely it's no longer actually in orbit of, uh, of the sun. Well, it might be, actually. I have no idea. Um, sorry, Pluto. It's just business. Don't ask what business, because there is no answer. Um, all right, let's make, let's, let's hit it with something else. Um, random. Just go with whatever. So this is random exoplanet. I don't know what that means. But I'm going to go ahead and, uh, we're just gonna back up. Oh, that's gone. I actually just removed Pluto from existence. Sorry, Pluto. Where random exoplanet go? Bye. All right, let's launch that into the uh, rest of the solar system. That is cool looking. Let's go to. Which one is this? That's true. That's what I hit. Okay. Uh, we should be able to see random exoplanets coming from somewhere, right? Oh, there it is. It's over here. Random exoplanet. Barreling towards the uh, remainder of the solar system. We'll go ahead and switch to move. Uh, let's teleport back to Earth. Hello, Earth. How are you doing this fine multitude of days? Let's see, where did that go? Where is random exoplanet? There it is. 
It's over by the Tesla Roadster, you know. No big deal. Actually, there's a couple over there. Come here. If I uh, bring this closer, horrible things are going to happen. Check it. If we uh, just go ahead and back up a bit, we can watch the uh, the orbit of Earth just sort of, you know, do horrible things. Oh, bring this back up here. Actually, let's put it over. Oop. Well, there goes Earth. Um, is that a chunk of Earth, or is that just light? Well, let's let's just no no no. You're going towards the sun, my dude. Oh, I'm over here. Hi, sun. How are you? That sounds a little weird. Where did random exoplanet go? <laughs> All right, here's this guy. Uh oh. Well, the sun just ate random exoplanet and, um, well, the solar system's moving. Oh, now it's, now it's going to get real cold. He's going to get real cold. I was going to check Earth, but you know, it, it doesn't exist anymore. So, uh, yeah, but hey, neither does random exoplanet. That's really bright. What a surprise. The sun is really bright. All right, let's do one more thing real quick. We're going to go ahead and we're going to create... <laughs> no, no, none of that. Nah, we're going to shove a star into it. We're going to shove a sun into the sun. Hello, sun. Evidently, that was a really small sun. This is still exoplanet. I don't want exoplanet. I want the sun. There we go. Uh, and now it's a supernova. Remember all that life that we thought may have been in the solar system? Uh, some thought were in the, was in the solar system or any possibilities of life on Mars? Yeah, it's gone. Literally everything is gone. There's still stuff there, but like, let's go to Jupiter real quick. Uh, it's very bright here. With a surface temperature of 31,000 degrees Celsius and dropping, actually. Um, it's probably dropping because there is no longer a sun, but there's a giant heat blast. So uh, I don't remember if Jupiter was a gas giant or not. This is 317 Earths of mass. I'd imagine it's actually gotten smaller because... Boom. It's kind of like the Big Bang, but... Not quite, I don't think. I'm actually like 95% sure the Big Bang was a lot bigger than a supernova. But I have no idea. Nothing's bigger than a Chevy Nova. It just works so, so well. The joke, not the car. <laughs> anyway, I don't like nothing about Chevy Novas anyway. All right, so uh, Jupiter is a little toasty. Still 16,000 degrees Celsius. What else do we have? What else is still in existence? I'm pretty sure most of these rocks are what's left of planets and their moons. Wait, Jupiter didn't have rings, right? That was Saturn. Thought I saw Saturn a while ago. Did Saturn just cease existence? Supernovas may be the end of all existence in the entire solar system, but the pretty you know, cool looking. They're pretty pretty. Let's go to Eris. What are you doing? Oh, you're just a ball of magma now. How are you today? You're only 3,500 degrees Celsius. And a mass of 5.62 times 10 to the 21st kilograms. See, I remembered some stuff from school. What is that? I can't... This, that, oh, that's... Does that say Saturn? I can barely read it. There's Jupiter. All right, let's go visit Jupiter. I was already on Jupiter. I want to go to Saturn. Derp. Is Saturn on the other side of Jupiter now? I don't know where it was before, so... Well, Saturn is gone. Apparently Saturn doesn't exist on Jupiter. That's a strange sentence. Alright, stuff over here. Saturn! Hi Saturn! 
It's a Saturn, right? Okay. It just looks remarkably like all of the other planets. That is just light. It looks really cool though. It's all purple and stuff. I don't know what's making it purple. It's only 7,900 degrees Celsius and dropping. Which one are you? Are you still your heiress? Wow. So this one's supposed to have some rings around it. Um, yeah, it doesn't have those anymore. Why don't we put a sun in here real quick? Uh, this isn't the tool I wanted to have to begin with. Um, create. Isn't there the sun? We're just gonna launch that over there. Oh, oh. Sorry, Jupiter, Saturn. Sorry, it's full. Sorry, everything. It's all gone. What are you? Oh, hey, there's Jupiter. Jupiter's fine. I mean, everything else has gone out of existence, but hey. Um. Let's go ahead and just. Let, let me cool it down. Here, I'll douse it with some water. Where are we on temperature? 8,500? Here you go. Yeah, that'll work real well. <laughs> Wrong button. Here we go. Eh, put the fire out. Unless Jupiter was a gas. I don't think it was. I don't remember. Like I said, don't know space, astronomy, or astrology, or whatever the hell, all that well. I play Carbal Space Program sometimes. So even, right there's some water. Oh, it's just going straight in there. There's enough gravitational pull on it that's just pulling the water into it. Um, is this upping the, the uh, mass at all? Well, not by entire planets, but you know. All right, have some extra iron, I guess. Need some extra iron in its diet anyway. Okay, so you're just gonna, you're gonna be that way, huh? One point six two times ten to the twentieth kilograms. You're using eighteen Earths so far. Is this doing anything? Has the density gone up? Nothing's changed. Although the temperature seems to have leveled out at a measly seven thousand sixty four degrees. But I think that is where we're going to leave this solar system that was once and no longer is or ever will be. Well, it might be, I don't know. I don't know how long uh, supernovas last. One thing's for sure, looks pretty damn sweet. Damn. Oh, it's nice knowing everybody, um, you know, since the entire solar system's gone and all that, you know, you know, it's just, just business. Just gotta take care of some, some loose ends. You know those times when you did something and you can't have witnesses, so you destroy the entire solar system by creating a uh, supernova out of the sun? Yeah, it was one of those days. Well, that, I may have already said this, I don't know, it's gonna do it for this video. Gonna leave you with a giant ball of, well, it's not even a ball, it's just, here's a supernova. Enjoy it, take in the views. Well, there's really only one view, it's a giant supernova. With some peaceful music. And there's the Milky Way. It's actually moving. I don't think it's moving. You know what? One more thing, real quick. Speaking of the Milky Way, where is Galaxy Collision? Here we go. Ah! There it is! Jesus. Alright, which one are you? Do you say? They don't say. Oh, right, wait. Sagittarius A and Black Hole. Cool. So you can see that's just getting pulled up into it. So I guess there's a black hole in this galaxy or it's, yeah. Uh, there it goes. Well, anything that was there is no longer there. 
anything that was alive, I'm pretty sure it is no longer alive. But let's check something out. How fast is this going? This is one million years every second. Jeez. Oh, you know, it's just two galaxies colliding. And it happens, but I'm pretty sure if we look around... Oh no, actually it's not that. Okay, I thought the Milky Way was still gonna be, like, somewhere. He's dead, Jim. That is gonna do it for this video. It's so tiny. Compared to like the controller. Oh no, it's gonna suck it. Ah, funny color. Right. Whatever. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this mass destruction of the entire, well, in this case, two and two entire galaxies that I've just stuck my head into. It's really bright in here. All right, that actually feels really weird, by the way. It's like, oh, that oh, okay. I don't know, it kind of messes with your eyes. Now everything's blurry, but it might actually just be blurry. I think it's actually just blurry. All right, that is going to do this for the video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you want, if you want to see more, if you have any suggestions. Um, I'm not super smart with this stuff. I don't know that I'll ever do another VR video of this. Like I said, there's more you can do outside of VR. But if you have any suggestions, go ahead and tell me in the comments. If you didn't like this video, don't leave a like. I'll see you in the next video.